Sure. We're going to just talk about the locker program. And so, like Isabel said, every student is going to change the state of the locker that matches their number. If they're the third student, they're going to go to the three, third, sixth, ninth, twelfth, fifteenth, and so on. And they're going to change the state. So, what do you think that means, Carson? I mean, like, let's say if the locker was open, they would close it. Exactly. Right. So if the locker was open, they would close it. If the locker is closed, they would open it. So the first person goes and opens every locker. And we're going to just do this with 12 lockers. Okay? So that, that means every locker has been touched one time. And I'm going to record how many times we touch each locker. Because if you read the problem farther, they ask you about touching the locker. Okay, so I'm going to just record it. So, Kate, the second student, what's the second student going to do? Uh, the second student closes the doors of lockers 2, 4, 6, and 8, and so on to so, the end of the So, he's going to have to touch all of the even lockers, right? And close the door of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, Kaden, do you have a question or anyone? Are you stretching? Stretching. Okay, so why don't you do the third person, Kate, and what's the third person going to do? Um, student 3 changes the state of the doors of lockers 3, 6, 9, 12, and so on. So I'm going to touch 3, 6, 9, and 12, and I'm going to change the state. So 3 is open, so I'm going to close it. 6 is closed, so I'm going to open it. 9 is open, so I'm going to close it. 12 is closed, so I'm going to open it. Fourth person, Antonio. Right, so 4, 8, and 12. So 4 was closed, so I'm going to open it. 8 was closed, so I'm going to open it. 12 was open, so I'm going to close it. Okay, so Jen, what happens next? Um, student 5. Student 5. Are you writing this down? Nope, don't write it down. Five is going to close. Is going to open. Okay, so sorry. Two and five is going to close five and open ten. Yeah, so they're going to touch five and ten, changing the state. So close five. That's right. Open ten. Sean. Yeah. Now who's up? Student six, so they're going to touch locker six and what locker? So six and twelve, right? So that means the six locker gets closed and the twelve locker gets open. Zoe, next. So the seventh person is going to touch the seventh locker, right? And if there was a fourteenth locker. They would touch the 14th locker because they do multiples of seven. And the eighth person? Right, and we're only going to look at 12. The eighth person does the eighth locker and the 16th locker, but we only have 12. How about the ninth person, Allie? The ninth person would do the. No, they would do the ninth locker, and if there was an 18th locker, they would oh, do the 18th. Okay, so do the 10th one then. The 10th person, 10 and 20, if there was a 20th locker, and the 11th person? Me? Mm hmm. And then the 12th person, Echo. They would close this 12th locker. And Okay, so we weren't there yet, though, but we are now. So, so the question is, which locker doors are open? What do you notice, Echo? One, four, and nine are open. I, I think I see something. So it says that there's a thousand, which is all I'm marketing, is a lot of lockers. Right. So we can't do a thousand, but guess what? Doing twelve. What do you notice? I noticed that it's uh, one is open, four is open, and then nine is open. 
But uh, the four, if you added four to it, would be eight, but then it just added one more onto it. So I think it would be nine plus nine, which is 18, but then uh, actually 19 would be open. Not quite, but that, so let's try, try something else. You have the right idea. What's one to four? You have to add how much? Five. For, yeah, from one to four? Three. How about from four to nine? How about from nine to, I wonder where the next one's going to be. No, actually, I think Peter. I think it was the, um, adding two, two, three, five. Four. What do you think is going to be here? Seven. 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 So, what do you think the next open locker would be? Sixteen. Sixteen. Maybe, right? We'll check in a minute. The next open one, maybe. What kind of numbers are these that are open, Carson? Well, I thought that it would not be sixteen. Okay, so we're not sure. We're going to put a question mark. Not everybody agrees. But what kind of numbers are open, Haley? Um, so right now on our 1 to 12, yeah. there are primes. Oh, they're, sorry. they're not primes. Not primes. Sorry. Um, well, there is a pattern. There is a pattern. Sean, what are they? They're square numbers. I know the pattern. What's the next square number? Oh, After 9. 16. 16. Okay. Let's check the thing. 4 times 4. So do you think it would work here? If, if we did the thing here, the first person opens all of them, right? That's going to take a little more work for me. No, because well, nor, it's just not today. The second person closes the evens, right? And then the third person changes the state of the multiples of three. So three, six. 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 24. And the fourth person changes the state of 4, 8, 12, 24. And the fifth person changes the state of 5. And the sixth person changes the state of six. And the seventh. And the eighth. And the ninth. It'd be off, right? Ten. Eleven. 12. That's it. No, 13th would do 13th and 26, but it's off. 14th would be 28. 15 would be 16 opens. 17 closes. 18 closes. 19 closes. 20, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 25 opens. I told you to just add two. Yeah. Just add two. Yeah. two. So two plus every time. Yeah, I, I guess I didn't understand what you're saying, but do you guys see that they're all squared numbers? Okay, so look. Look at how many times they were touched up here. That was one of the questions. This one was touched once, right? The second locker was touched twice. The third locker was touched twice. How about the fourth? Three, right? I wrote this wrong. Okay, the fifth locker was touched twice. The sixth locker was touched four times. The seventh, the eighth, the ninth, the tenth, the eleventh, and the twelfth. Six. So look at the ones that are open. What do you know about the ones that were open, how many times they were touched? Bryden, do you? Okay, I'll come back to you. Haley, what do you know about the number of times the ones that were open were touched? I'm not, I'm not quite positive that this is right, but uh, isn't it going from like 
Not exactly, though, because they would be getting bigger and bigger then. What do you notice, Jen? One's not a prime. What do you notice, Carson? Peter, what do you notice? I notice that there's three except for one every time. What kind of numbers are one and three? Prime. One's not prime. Sean? Oh. Odd. They've been touched an odd number of times. And what about the other ones? They're all even. Right. And you know what? Does anybody know why that might be? It has to do with factors. Because school doesn't like even. Like the square number, Allie. Well, I don't know why all the even numbers have even number of factors, maybe. What about those square numbers? How many factors does four have? One and four, two and two. So just three factors, right? Has two repeated? What about nine? One and nine. Three and three. So there's still an odd number of factors. What about 16? One and 16. Two and eight. And four and four. There's only an odd number of factors. So what's the homework? You don't have homework. We're going to talk a little bit more about this problem. In the